Hey, what is up you guys? It's Urkels and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Ether 2 mod using the Magic Launcher which just came out last night. So, let's get started. Obviously, the first thing you're going to want to download is the Magic Launcher. Oh wait, no, no. Actually, the first thing that you really want to do is back up your dot Minecraft folder which is fairly simple. All you have to do is type in percent app data percent there'll be a roaming floater you click that then you just this is how I do it I just copy and just paste yeah but I've, I've already done that so yeah that's right there so the second thing you want to do is download the magic launcher which uh, I'll have that link down in there in the description just click on whichever one you need honestly I have windows so yeah the second thing you want to do is go to the ether2 link and here you're gonna want to download um you want to download where is it at where is it at right here you want to download forge player api and player render api now this is forge is forge mod loader now uh, i want you uh, instead of downloading it from anything else i want you to download it from here or else it may not work so yeah i basically got them all downloaded they're all right here now there's also one more that we're gonna have to get. Ooh, what's this? See, give me a second. You're gonna want to go to this website right here, so you can download the 1.5.1 jar, because it is running on 1.5.1. So let me just do that real quick. Don't worry, you guys. It's just go proceed anyways, and then yeah, here it is. Now rename this to to uh, minecraft.1.5.1 so you guys know that it's the 1.5.1 jar now you gotta go back into percent oh that's not percent app data percent roaming dot minecraft the bin and then just drag this in here and there it is okay so now that you have that done, we go into the magic launcher. Just and if you guys haven't used this before, I'll show you guys how to use it. It's really simple and I absolutely love it. So this is gonna pop up and now you're gonna wanna go down to here to set up. But uh yeah, put in your username and your password and all that good stuff. You know, for later. Now you can click set up and see I've already got it, but uh I'm gonna be doing it again, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna type in you don't have to do this, but this keeps everything organized, and I like being organized. So I'm just gonna put Ether Mod to. Wait, let me put a hyphen just in case. Don't copy, and then there you go. And so over here. Now you see how this is 1.5.2, and uh, we need 1.5.1. So hit select. You know. Then this is where the 1.5.1 jar comes in. This. See how this one? This one's the 0.5. Uh, point two right here so just click on this one and then yeah you got the right jar okay so now that that's done you wanna come over here right here and click add now you wanna do do it in the order I do it or else it might not work but I don't know so this is just how I did it and it worked so basically just hit mod uh, forge hit add it'll say one errors right there don't worry about it it's all fine it always says that for some reason I don't know why so now you want to do render player API and then player API universal and last but not least ether alpha ether 2 alpha so then you want to hit test just to make sure that it all goes down and then forge mod letter is setting up should shouldn't take too long okay everything seems to be working oh yep here we are Ether2 mod. Um, there might be a little screen that comes in, like a uh, box right here, uh, like so. So basically, it just has the Minecraft 1.5.1, Ether2, left Minecraft. I have no idea what that is. And Ether1. That's we don't want that one. Though. We want this one. So just hit, click on it, and hit launch menu. And we're fine. So basically, we're done there. You hit OK to save everything. Okay. Now you want to hit login. And make sure you're on the on the uh, setup that you put in that was just a test so right now we're actually gonna go try it out 
Okay, so we're gonna do single player. I'll do create a new world. Let me just type in Oh Ether two mod. <laughs> okay. So it's just learning the world. It might take a second. So yep. Oh now let me uh just show you guys that this is this works. Game mode one, and you know, to make the portal, you just need you need a glowstone block, oh, and a bucket of water, a regular bucket of water. So let's just come over here on some nice flat land. And now, in order to make it, all you gotta do is make it simply just like the the Nether portal. And this basically works just like flint and steel, so you just right click, and there it is. We're gonna hop in, and let it load. So here we are, you guys. Oh, the big lag spike, whoa. We're gonna recover? Oh, oh my gosh, okay. Yep, all right. But yep, this was the Ether 2 mod installation. Um, if it doesn't work out, I'm sorry you guys, but that's exactly how I do it. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you manage to get this working. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.